Cutworms are so destructive in the garden. I'm gonna show you one good way to deter them from your plants. So I've got our garden put in this year and some of it is plants that we uh, started earlier and transplanted into the garden and some things are just started by seed out here. And one of the things we've got going here are jalapenos. And this is our row of jalapeno plants that we started indoors from seed. And they're doing pretty good so far. They've been in the garden for, I would say, about four or five days now. And already, you can see there's some destruction happening here. This is the work of cutworms. And I'll show you a little bit better up close down here. See, there's some gaps in the row here from them. Okay, this is a good example here. So you can see the stem is still in the ground, but it's chopped off right there. And the rest of the plant is just kind of laying here on the ground. Cutworms will come out at night and wrap themselves around the stem of the plant and cut it off. They will eat the leaves from the plant. You can see this one, uh, some of the leaves are gone as well. They're just very, very destructive. Um, they will do this, um, in my experience, mostly to pepper plants. They seem to prefer those, but they will attack some other plants as well. I don't know what cutworms are a larva for, probably some kind of a moth or beetle, I imagine. Um, I haven't really researched on that. Feel free to do that on your own if you want to. But um, one thing that I've learned that you can do to deter them is to wrap your plant, um, the base of the plant, in newspaper before you plant them. Now, I didn't think to do this this year. I don't know why, because we've had cutworm problems in the past, but I simply forgot. So now that I've had a brutal reminder, um, what I'm going to do is take strips of newspaper uh, about an inch wide and just kind of roll it up like this. And then I'll just cut pieces off of that and wrap around each individual plant, making sure it goes into the dirt just a little bit. Um, this will prevent the cutworm from climbing up onto the plant. Now also keep in mind that if you have leaves or foliage from your plant that are bending down and touching the ground around the plant, the cutworms will climb up onto that as well. So you gotta be careful that none of those are hanging down onto the ground. Okay, you can see this little plant here. I'm just gonna take these first leaves off from the bottom like that. I'm gonna take this little strip of paper, and just kind of wrap it around and around and around. Like that. I'm just kind of shimmy it down a little bit so it's into the dirt and maybe pile up a little bit of the dirt around that as well. And there you have it. That should keep the cutworms off from this little plant. Now I have a bunch of other ones to wrap as well. Now like I mentioned, this is just one method you can use to keep them off your plants. Um, I've also heard people using diatomaceous earth sprinkled around the base of the plant. Um, I don't do that because of the, all the sprinkling I do. I'm afraid it just washes it away and it isn't very effective. You can also use crushed eggshells. That kind of keeps them off of your plants as well. Um, if you have other ideas on how to keep cutworms off from plants, please post it below in the comments and let us know what your tricks are. And ta-da, this is what they look like now. It's been about three or four weeks since I shot the first part of this video. And this is what our jalapeno plants are looking like. They look pretty good. They're getting tall and they're healthy. And you can see still a couple of gaps in the row. That's where the original damage happened from the cutworms, but they are looking good. They're growing fast. And we're looking forward to picking some peppers on them probably in the next couple of weeks or so, I think. And as you can see, the garden looks a lot different from the first half of the video. Our corn is now, I would say, almost as tall as I am. I'm about five and a half feet tall, so it's getting up there very quickly. There's our cucumbers and green beans that I thought I planted far enough apart, but I guess I didn't. Lesson learned. Here are some bell peppers. Those really took a beating from the cutworms this year. So we only have a few plants, but they're looking good so far and zucchini and summer squash. And here are tomato plants, which are getting very big very quickly. Here is some winter squash. I believe it's butternut that we planted here. And then that back corner that kind of looks like a jungle is pumpkins. Now this year is a good year for the garden, mainly because I have a little bit of extra time to get out here 
and take care of it. And I would say the two most important things for our garden to look this good, number one is horse manure. We brought in a lot of horse manure this spring and spread it out and rototilled it in. And so the plants are very well fed this year. And the second thing is called a scuffle hoe and it looks like this. This was a gift a few years ago from my sister-in-law and brother and it's made by Rogue Ho and I'll leave a link in the description for that. This makes weeding so so easy. You just get out here when the weeds are just starting to sprout and you push this back and forth like you would a vacuum hose on carpet and it just takes them right out. Simple as that. And that's a quick garden update for you so far this season. I hope you guys are having good luck in your gardens too. If you want, you can post the pictures to me on Facebook. I'd love to check that stuff out. I'm gonna try again this year to post updates on how much produce we're picking from the garden. Two years ago, if you've been following me for a while, on my blog I would post updates on how much food we're um, actually getting from the garden. So I, every time we pick something, I would weigh it. So I'm gonna try to do that again this year. We've already had um, 10 or 15 pounds of cucumbers that we've picked so we're on a roll already I'm gonna try to get that started so go over on my website flannelacres.com and check that out also um, check me out on Facebook uh, facebook.com slash flannel acres lady you can find me there I'm also on Instagram at flannel acres so I will see you guys around don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button catch you later bye